Hello everybody, this is a quick video on uh, drawing. So right now, I'm just going to go over very, very, very basic shading. Um, this is the beginner's beginner's guide to uh, shading or creating shadow. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to start with a dimensional box. Um, <clears throat> and we'll actually create kind of um, the underside to it so you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to say uh, light is hitting on this right here. So this is going to be in shadow and under here is going to be in shadow. And we'll say that you know this has, um, it's straight across, but it's still, the light is hitting hardest right here. Okay, so that is the, highest place of that. The first thing you want to do is know how the light uh, is wrapping around the object and how the shadow would wrap around the object. So the surface or uh, dimension of the actual object itself. So in this case, you have a box that's going here. The light's coming from this direction. And so it's going to hit and wrap this way. So when you shade, you know, you're just doing these quick lines and you're wrapping the light the way it would go as well as the way the surface would be. And this can also create a line of, you know, the motion of the object itself and create that foreshortening for you. Uh, same here. So you know the light's coming down, and so the light's wrapping this way, creating the shadow this way, as well as the surface is this way. So you're going to go ahead and do that. So now maybe, uh, you know, also you want to show the difference between the two. So you say, okay, the light's also darker underneath. So you create what's called cross hatching. So you're doing it one way, and then you're doing it another way. But you're following the shadow, or the way the light hits, and brings the shadow around, as well as the surface of the object. So if you think of a sphere, and you say the light's here, so rule number one would be, think about the brightest area, and then how the light would slowly wrap around that object. Now we're not gonna go into uh, reflective light, uh, reflective shadow, uh, reflective color, or um, you know the, the shadow highlight, so to speak. But so you know this is that, and we know that the actual sphere when the light hits is going to bring the light around this way. So we're creating that shadow, just how the light would come around here. As you can see, and that's creating that, but also the, the shape of it is going more this way. So now you're going to create an additional shadow and you know, as it gets up more, it might create. So now all of a sudden you have this where it's this way and this way. So you create that. And so now you have different hash marks creating not only the shape and the feel of 3D, but also creating uh, the shadow as well. And you know, the, the finer you get down here, you know, maybe as it's coming around, it's tighter. So you're doing, you know, very tight ones that are touching and then same here. So you're doing the same. And then as you get up more, they break apart more. Um, so, you know, some people will do when they do a drawing, you know, they'll just follow the light source here and say, oh, okay, so the light's coming here, 
I have an object that's uh, obstructed here. It hits, you know, the main emphasis of the light is hitting here, which will create my shadow, kind of curves around and then goes flat. And so that's here. So now, since the light's hitting here, and I got this shadow that curves around, I'll create that around here. But then I know it's long and comes down, so I'll create that here. But what some people will do is they'll say, okay, everything is being created by just this one line. So then they'll just shade it darker one way. And so, you know, when you get an object, everything is hash marked the same way. Some people will cross it. Some people will do, you know, more than one uh, or two or three. So it just depends on what you want to do. Uh, you know, what style you want to go for. But this is just a very basic and, you know, doing shadow and, you know, the way the light is going to hit it. Uh, one of the best things you can do is actually just take, um, you know, either a white or non-distinct colored object and take a movable light and move it all around when the, everything else is dark and see the way the light hits off of it and the way the shadows are created. Um, another thing you can do is move that all around and take pictures of it, print those pictures out, and kind of have an idea. Now, you got to remember uh, a camera is going to distort, flatten, and create um, other light sources other than the lights that are there. Um, even if it's minute with uh, new technology, it is still there. Um, you know, drawing a person or an object from life is completely different than drawing an object from a camera. Uh, it feels different. You see different things. You know, the light seems to shimmer and move. You know, the, the actual tangibility of, you know, a, a human being will shift and move as well as the objects in themselves seem to take on more color, more depth, more contrast and it just creates a more vibrant feel so I would suggest wholeheartedly if you're starting out you know just set up simple things and say okay you know I have this very simple uh, bottle here and I'm going to draw this you know bottle and then I'm going to put the light source directly on it and so you know, how does that look? How do I see what is in this? And then after you have that, you know, nice line drawing of this beautiful bottle that's lopsided. Um, give me one second. You know, how am I going to do the shadow? So I know, you know, the, the brightest spot is here, 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 and actually down here. So then... How's that? The darkest might be here, so I'm going to bring that shadow around. You know, and then maybe I bring it up because it actually curves the other way. Um, you know, so if you have crossing there, you know, this might actually shade this way. And you got another little highlight there. You bring that around. This is actually flat here, so you can bring that. And actually, that straight down. And so, as you can see, I've, I've created a strange little, you know, that feels flat from hashing it this way and that way. This feels more rounded from hashing it this way and that way. Now, the other thing you need to think about, which I'll do right here, is you have the line here. So you have, you know, this is fully shadowed and very dark back here. Um, and then you have this shadow. So this is your next darkest. That doesn't mean that it's as dark as this, but this is your next darkest. And just for the sake, so I'm using the same pencil all the time. But this right here is going to create a little bit of a light spot to bounce off of these two darks to give that field a shape. And if you look at it, it's uh, part of the reflective light or the wraparound light um, or secondary uh, essence of light that creates that. So. It, it, it creates a very uh, three-dimensional feel to it when you're doing that. And it would be, you know, almost everywhere. 
um, maybe not underneath like that actually might be really dark but you know everywhere else you get this weird little tiny uh, light and sometimes especially if it's you know a glass or something else you might even get you know a bigger light spot that's here so that's just something to think about um, this was your basic shading i'm Renan's Autograph. thank you